Please, everybody, have a seat. Good morning. Uh, I have my two trusty assistants here, Malia and Sasha, for one of the most important duties that I carry out as president. Uh, before everybody heads home for Thanksgiving, uh, there is one official duty. Uh, I am sworn to uphold as the leader of the most powerful nation on Earth. Uh, today, I have the awesome responsibility of granting a presidential pardon to a pair of turkeys. Now, uh, for the record, uh, let me say that it feels uh, pretty good to stop at least one shellacking this November. <laughs> this year's national turkey goes by the name of Apple, and his feathered understudy is appropriately named Cider. Uh, they are being presented today by the chairman of the National Turkey Federation, uh, Hubert uh, N Envia. And I want to just point out that uh, Hubert seems very comfortable with that turkey. Uh, <laughs> uh, as well as the man uh, who helped raise and handle them since birth, uh, Ira Brister. Where's, where's Ira? There's Ira. Give Ira a big round of applause for raising such outstanding turkeys. I want to thank you both for joining us here at the White House. Now, Apple and Cider came to us from the Foster Farms Wellsford Ranch, just outside of Modesto, California. Out of about 20,000 turkeys born at Foster's Farm this summer, 25 were selected for a final competition that involved strutting their stuff before a panel of judges with an eclectic mix of music playing in the background. <laughs> it's kind of like a turkey version of Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Except the, the stakes for the, <laughs> for the contestants was much higher. <laughs> Only one pair would survive and win the big prize, life. <laughs> and an all-expenses-paid trip to Washington. Uh, where they've been living it up on corn feed at the W Hotel. The W Hotel's really been putting them up. I <laughs> it's great advertising. <laughs> Makes you want to stay at the W. <laughs> and after today, Apple and Cider will spend their retirement at the same beautiful place our first president uh, spent his, uh, Mount, Ver uh, Mount Vernon, Virginia. So later this afternoon, our family will also deliver two turkeys who didn't quite make the cut uh, to Martha's Table, uh, which is an organization that does extraordinary work helping folks who are struggling uh, here in D.C. Uh, and I want to thank the good people at Jandell's Turkey Farm in Orfield, Pennsylvania, who've now donated these turkeys two years in a row. Now this, uh, of course, is what's truly meant by Thanksgiving a holiday that asks us to be thankful for what we have and generous to those who have less. It's a time to spend with the ones we love and a chance to show compassion and concern to people we've never met. It's a tradition that's brought us together as a community since before we were a nation, when the ground we're standing on was nothing but wilderness. Now, back then, the simple act of survival was often the greatest blessing of all. And later, President Lincoln, declared the first national day of Thanksgiving in the midst of the Civil War. During the depths of the Great Depression, local businesses gave donations and charities opened their doors to families who didn't have a place to celebrate Thanksgiving. In times of war, our military has gone through great lengths to give our men and women on the front lines a turkey dinner and a taste of home. So in America, we come together when times are hard. We don't give up. We don't complain. We don't turn our backs on one another. Instead, we look after one another, and we pitch in, and we give what we can. And in the process, we reveal to the world uh, what we love so much about this country. That's who we are, and that's who Thanksgiving reminds us to be. So I hope everyone takes some time during this holiday season to give back and serve their community in some way. And I also want to take a moment to say how grateful I am to the men and women who are serving this country brave, bravely and selflessly in places far away from home right now. Uh, you and your families are in our thoughts and in our prayers, uh, and you make me so very proud uh, to be your Commander-in-Chief. 
So on behalf of Michelle, Sasha, Malia, and myself, I want to wish everybody uh, a wonderful uh, and happy and safe Thanksgiving. Uh, and now it is my uh, great honor as well uh, to give uh, Apple and Cider a new lease on life. So uh, as President of the United States, you are hereby pardoned uh, from the Thanksgiving dinner table. May you have a wonderful uh, and, and, and joyful life uh, at Mount Vernon. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. All right. Well, he, 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 you see, he made a little noise. But thank you. He agreed. Let's go, let's go take a closer look at it. Mr. President, I'd like to That's some kind of one. Uh, Apple. All right. <laughs> uh, you have my blessing. <laughs> Check on the back of the head. You want to touch him? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. You feel that? You're gonna fall asleep. Yeah. Now, can, can somebody explain to me what the what the, the whole waddle thing's about? Oh, wow, that's how they, they dissipate heat. That's how they dissipate heat. They don't have uh, sweat glands, so all the blood rushes to the waddle, and uh, that's how they dissipate the heat from the body. Interesting. <laughs> I guess uh, we're glad we have sweat glands. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be carrying these around. All right. Thank right. you very, very much. Thank you. Appreciate All right. You. Have a good life, man. <laughs> Thank you. Again. Thank you.